Hello my friends and welcome. Today is day 275 of the Ukraine-Russian war and we have a little bit of an update here guys. So Marienka and north of Volominka. And so if we come here, you can see this little piece here and right up here you can see this little piece here okay let's get straight to the russian losses okay so for today they lost another 230 troops five armored personnel vehicles four vehicles and fuel tanks one tank six artillery six uavs and two special equipment pieces and that's it on that Okay, um, the armed forces of Ukraine repelled 11 enemy attacks. Aviation struck 12 clusters of manpower, weapons, and two anti-aircraft missile systems. Artillery units struck four control points, two military warehouses, ammunition warehouse, and an enemy relay transmitter. The general staff reported. And that was today at 600 hours. Okay, guys, and here's a map. I wanted to show you uh, the destruction on the power, what it, sh what it uh, looks like on satellite. So this was the before, and then this is the after. Again, like before and after. So in response to that, guys, um, U.S. aid has reportedly sent um, was it a thousand power generators to Ukraine, and if you see here, the these big old uh, generators, and here we can see uh, da, 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 as reported on November 23rd, the European Parliament, in collaboration with Eurocities Network, has launched the generation. Generators of Hope initiative to provide energy generators and transformers to Ukraine. And then we also have from MSN.com reporting that France to send a hundred more generators to Ukraine after accusing Russia of making winter a weapon of war. So thanks a lot, France, for stepping it up. And then uh, the Kiev Independent is also reporting. Oh my goodness, not responding. There we go. That South Korea to provide high voltage generators for Ukraine. And uh, first Deputy Chairman of Ukrainian Parliament, Alexander. Kronivko said on November 25 that South Korea would send 20 high voltage generators and five electric mini excavators to Ukraine. That's always nice, guys. And that they'll be delivered on the 12th of December. Okay. And we got a special uh, for, you know, I'm an American guy, so I wanted to post this one. A Ukrainian fighter has a powerful message for U.S. right from the trenches on our national holiday and he's got some music in here so I'm gonna play a little and mute it and I'll just read what it says okay celebrate St. Vian it is customary on this day to send each other for help and support we would like to express gratitude from all of the Ukrainian warriors we send you for the support. Yeah, we, we want to thank you for the support in our struggle for defending us with the foundation of democracy, democratic values, and the right to be free. And basically, that's why I uh, support Ukraine. They're fighting for freedom. And what a beautiful thing. I, I couldn't ask for anything more. And here we have Happy Thanksgiving. I want to give... Thanks for all the POWs caught by the Ukrainian military. And you can see the Ukrainian military, and here's a couple of Russian prisoners of war. Okay. 
And we have um, a Ukrainian soldier here cooking breakfast. And he had copyrighted music on this one. You can see him cutting potatoes. Um, he's going to show he's got some meat over here as well. They look like they're having a really good breakfast, getting their protein and calories. And then after that, they got to go uh, cross the river here. Here's a nice little video of them crossing the river on a pontoon. Let's see here. There we go. You can see the road still muddy. Not too bad at this point. I'm not sure where this is at. It's not geolocated. It's not the Dnieper River. Here's a little pontoon. And then this one here was this one. Ukrainian soldiers on somewhere in the eastern part of Ukraine. Probably Bakhmut. They're probably copyrighted music. I can't play that. Looks like they're in good spirits. Oof, that looks freezing cold to me. Off to handle business. And then we also. Sorry, this post has been removed by the moderator. Well, I still have it here. Does it still play? the end of that but that's uh, some high mars in action guys more american freedom okay and now uh we have these unbreakable points invincibility points have been put up in the kiev region and the purpose is to provide temporary shelter warmth and ability to charge phones and i wanted to take a look at this here so this looks like just a little military tent. Doesn't look very um, very nice from the outside, right? But check it out from the inside, guys. Like this thing is legit, and we got all the power lines. Here we have a table with a bunch of chargers. Um, this looks legit and internet. So that's always nice to see. Okay, and also we have UA Wire reporting that uh, Russia will not be able to hold the left bank of the Dnipro River. Everybody knows that. It's just a matter of time. They didn't give a, a time estimate, but uh, we know that it's just a matter of time. And so in this Newsweek in response to um, publishes that Russia has admitted it needs 5 million troops to win the war in Ukraine and they have a total right now of supposedly 2 million. Uh, they're not going to be able to raise 5 million troops and so we know where this is going. And so let me keep it pushing guys. Here we have Tinder um, reporting that uh, Another Putin fake show. Those women are actresses. Those two are an example, but even the others have been identified. It is so revealing that with more than 80,000 killed Russian soldiers, Putin couldn't find or risk to sit with a few widows, pathetic to the core. And this morning he met with some widows, supposedly, um, and these two are actresses like he is so scared of even the Russian women that might uh, assassinate him basically that he prefers to have actresses so that is really telling guys I don't have the video 
of um, actually oh, it's right here I don't think it has subtitles though Еще раз добрый день. Вы знаете, что у нас послезавтра мы в России отмечаем День Матери. So Putin holds a meeting with mothers of servicemen, and yet these two are actresses. So more propaganda, guys. Unbelievable. Okay, um, oh my goodness, guys. Ukrainian parents had to take their daughter to a petrol station to plug in her inhaler because Russian terrorists have bombed the city's energy infrastructure. And here you can see this little girl with her inhaler, and, you know, they had to plug it in because there's no power. Well, uh... Sockportal.info is reporting that Ukrainian forces destroy gun used by Russians to kill infant in Zaporia. And uh, the Russian S-300 system, which was used to show Zaporia region, has been destroyed. The Ukrainian army has destroyed the C-300 missile system. And this was... Uh, in revenge. So wait till they take revenge for making this little girl go into the petrol station. Okay, and uh, also guys, Soviet soldiers tear down a Soviet relic. You can see the old logo. And I guess I have to give this a little bit of time to load up again. But uh, like this is going to happen all across Europe as well. Goodbye. <laughs> nice little BMP. Okay. So that's what they're getting, guys. And I did want to report this, guys. I reported this on yesterday's video. Uh, the Wagner Group presents a boxed and grave bloody stained sledgehammer to the Russian parliament rep and implies that it was used to execute one of their own uh, soldiers. And I wanted to show you this. This has no audio. But this sledgehammer here. And. So uh, the European Parliament has a nice little response to that. And as we witnessed, Russian mer mercenary Prigozhin sent his bloody hammer to the European uh, Parliament. I'd like him to accept our little gift also that this is waiting for him in Hague. This was really good. I mean, where they are going, tourists are laughing at victims uh, in Ukraine. This week, Prigozhin sent a butcher's hammer to the European Parliament after Parliament recognized Russia as a terror sponsor. I will send these handcuffs to <coughs> International Criminal Court headquarters where they are going to wait Prigozhin and his accomplices uh, for the crimes against Ukrainian people. How, be how beautiful is that, guys? Perfect response. It's just a matter of time. Like, they're going to find them. <clears throat> Once this war is over, they're going to go to jail. And lastly, guys, uh, the Kiev Post. They uh, are reporting here, uh, watch entire tower blocks of Kiev residents cheer when the power turns back on. And so they have a little video here. And this is the moment when... Uh, Power comes back on in Kyiv. Obviously, it's not on everywhere. However, that is inspiring, guys. And so with that, that is my report for the day, guys. Um, and so, yeah, all my friends out there, all my freedom-loving friends, 
Um, if you would, please give me a like. It really helps my channel. And uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. It really helps me out. I do these videos every day. And I'm trying to give you a fact-based report from what all the media is reporting and the causes and events and both sides of the story. And try to, you know, put a, a nice touch on it. As you can see, I am pro-Ukrainian. I'm an American. And I love freedom. And having said that, you know, uh, glory to the heroes, Slava Ukraine. Um, and guys, thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, you guys have a beautiful day and peace out.